Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a macro that we can use to export out, say, these three shapes as individual step STL files, etc. So this macro is available on my blog and I'll add the link into the description of this video. And also there'll be instructions of how to run this on my blog so we can get it all from there. Now, if you're a patron of a certain level, you've probably already got this PDF that tells you how to do it. If you're a patron and you're watching this video, then you'll also gain access to that as well. So let's have a look at this macro and how we would use it. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B E Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. So I'm going to start with a number of strews so you can see them here. Now this works with say an assembly or any compound. As long as we've got multiple items to export and we want them into individual files, then this macro will work with those. How the macro works is that we take the extrudes that we want and we select them. So if you look on the left hand side, you can see I've got the extrudes all running along here. And I'm going to shift select them because they're all in line. I could control select them, hold it down control and select them like this. But I'm going to shift select them. Let's go up to number eight. So I've got them selected there. I've already got the macro loaded. So I've come into macros and recent macros. I've got this one that exports to a step file. So if I select that, what happens is that it asks me for a directory. So let's create a new directory. And I'm going to call this exported parts. Come into that and hit choose. Because the step files have export options, then it's going to ask us once for the export option. And I'm just going to go OK for this. What's happened in the background is that's actually exported out into that folder. And if I look in my downloads, I'll be able to find the exported parts. And I've got them all in here. So let's open those. File, open. And you can see we've got them all in here. So let's select all of them. Just select them all and open. And you can see they're coming in now. And we've got all of these parts that have been exported out as individual files. And they're all different. So first of all, let's learn how to install the macro. So what you'll find on my blog, and I'll leave a address for this in the description of this video, is a piece of text like this. So what we do is come up to macro and macros and come in and create a macro and type in the name of the macro and call it multi export. It's totally up to you and hit OK. And then click in the space and control V and the macro is in there ready to go. File and save and that's the macro saved. Let's close that down and let's come over to the model that we want to export. And I'm just going to control select from the screen each of the items I want to export. Like so, I've got those control selected in there. You can see them there. Cut to macros. Recent macros and multi export. We can just click it from there or we can come into the macros and select from here the multi export and hit execute. And then we go for that process. So simple as that. And let's just cancel that. So remember this only works for step files. If we wanted to do SVG, then we have to actually import a different library. And you can quite easily see that if we say, go to one of these. And what I'm going to do is come to the top. And I'm going to come to the view panels and come down to the Python console. So anything we do will be reflected in the Python console. 
right click clear console and let's clear this as well so i'm going to export this as svg so i'm going to click on it file export and i'm going to pick svg so flattened svg and save it we can see a number of commands have appeared and here we've got the import svg you also see the objects equals open close square brackets there and if we look down you can see some obvious commands that were in the previous macro so this is the way i've actually created this macro i've used the python console and looked at the commands that have been produced when i've gone to export and then copied and pasted those into a document and got them working for my own application so for instance with this i can take the import svg and take all of this control c that come into the macro and what we'll do is paste it down here and you can see that i've got import import gui here now i'll replace that with that as attributes import gui export options so that will become import svg export options and then we've got this options equals and the same here image sv image svg export options you can see the full path in here which we don't need because we actually just put the dot step or dot svg in this case and then we've got this export and you can see the commands are very similar except they're using this import svg library rather than import good so that is how we would change that for the different formats STL will be something like import mesh because there's mesh and we've got a number of other formats in there. So I hope you find that useful. The macro is actually on my blog and I'll put a link in there to that macro. It will also have the instructions in a written form of how to install and use it. If you're a patron, you've already got this in PDF format and that's on my Patreon site. You will get this video first and then it will be released to the public afterwards. So I hope you find that macro useful. It's great for stuff like laser cut, and CNC work when you're placing it in a CAM package or you're going to export each of those individual ones out for CAM work. And this was originally from a few that wanted to do parametric wall art. I'm gonna pass that along to them as well. Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash darren b e stone i also run a patreon where you can get early access and additional content and that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos i thank everybody that's donated so far it really helps to keep the lights on so i can produce more content and also expand the channel thank you for liking commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.